So I'm not going to do the maps. Yeah. Then, then, then it's like it's, it's crazy to see who who won. We have not actually got the. We the actually may call this. Maybe there may be a tiebreak. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe. Let's That's see, let's see what happens. Yeah. Fr see. France versus Spain. You know who's going to take it? Para todo mi gente. You know, they're Spania. What does, what does that mean? Huh? All my people in Spain. Yeah, much love. You need to be teaching. Say it again. Uh, huh? Say it again. Para to toda la gente Jeez. de España. That, that, that sounds, that sounds yeah, exactly. Te quiero mucho a todos. Viva España. Vamos, Tibetano. No, I don't want to be biased. This is the thing. If I start speaking Spanish, I'm going to... Even, <laughs> you even got a production. Even production. Saying production. Vamos. The same. Vamos, Tibetano. No, I can't. Again, I can't be biased. This is... Uh, you know, there's many times when I'm like, oh, I want to be biased towards my boy, Tibetano, you know, but... You know, big love to, to Spain and the Spanish community. And again, Tibetano. I you know, I wish I could commentate in Spanish sometimes, but they speak... Bro, they speak dude, they you know what? No, but they speak bare fast. Like, there's some terms, you know. I know, I know, like, DF1, no DF2, you know. And I know a few things, but not enough to commentate in Spanish. Maybe one day. Maybe see down four two. That's one thing we haven't seen a lot from Gannon use the back two one string. That string is very very annoying to deal with. Um, they made it so you actually can't step the second hit. So it, it's it's just one of those annoying things where you just kind of have to hold, even though you you know it, it's still kind of in your advantage. Mm. But it's just an annoying mid. Super annoying. Yeah. Just using that jab pressure, down forward one. Okay, try to step it. I've never seen anyone do that, but get the punish. Surprised Bambino late. Oh, oh no. Uh, gets clapped for his troubles. I don't know. I think he got the... Wow, uh, what a conversion, Bubsy. I thought he had the wall splats um, too low, but, you know, Tipitano showing that great awareness there to modify the combo. Yeah, I thought he was going to drop that as well. Yeah, I thought it was too low, but wall splat. We're at a point now, you know, late into the game, you know, into the day here, the final group, and the crowd are supporting Tibetano like crazy. Every single round, they're cheering him right now, the Spanish crowd, to try and push him forward, because he needs to definitely win this to stand a chance of moving forward. But Bambino definitely is not down and out. Just going to have a big say in the matter here, because Bambino's been playing out of his mind, but out of your mind, get down for two into the sky, into the wall. No, just shy from the wall. Oh, it's a bad position. And I really like that by Tibetano, you know, not giving Bambino that chance to go into, you know, the 50-50 there, you know, when he does the set into either the big mid or the or the low there. You know, it's very easy to back off in that situation, but he didn't. Nice really good stuff. step on him, unblockable. Bambino was ready, and I love the conversion there. Okay, unbroken throw. Okay, while standing for, I was a chunky while standing for, gonna get a punish here. And that should be the round there. Yes, Bambino with his first round on the board. You see the guy shaking his head in the crowd. He's like, no, I didn't <laughs> like that. He said, no. But Bambino definitely yeah. not out of this round. You see him attacking with a downfall. Oh, really good whiff punish there by Bambino. Still super on point here. I'm telling you, the downfall too from Kunimis has really deceptive range. Oh, gosh, and look at the conversion. I love the little sidestep as well. We're going to find the wall again. We Oh, that was a great... This is optimization to the fullest from Bambino. So sick, and it just goes for the full crouch, you know. Again, the guy in the head, he's in the background. He's shaking his head. He's not happy with this. But Bambino, just like that, it's almost as in an instant. Just a click of your fingers, and he's just brought those two rounds back here, trying to silence the Spanish crowd. Oh, Okay. What's he going to do? Trying to get in the laws. And he tried to do, you know, he's done that before. Yeah, going to that full crouch. Wow, uh, what a low parry there as well by Bambino. We go against the wall splat, eh? It's going to be a full wall combo as well. With Cameron, what's he doing? But oh. full crouch sweep going underneath Tipitano's jab. He's going to do another one. Get down for two. I like he ducked it. Thought the follow-up was coming. Nice. Good punish, yeah. Oh, my God. Goes for the race drive. Big Look damage. The damage. But still has a life lead, Bambino. And nice there, just using the frame advantage there, keeping Tibetano honest. This is a big match, like you said, if Tibetano, if Bambino wins this, I'm sorry, that would be three straight. You know what, and that makes it, that makes it super strange, because then it'll be Tibetano on one win and two losses. Kira is on one win, one loss. So we could actually end up with a one win, two losses for all of the other three players. And then again, after that, I don't know the maths, but if, if Yaskani beats Kira. Uh, yeah, I, like I said, this is one. This is, is a, this is a mental one. Down to the um, yeah. um, wire. I'm super impressed by Bambino's play, though, man. I'm super impressed by the, like, the, the whiff punishment and, you know, his, his knowledge in the game. You know, really good whiff punishment, block punishment, but at the same time, not afraid to take those big risks that mm. seem to have paid off most of the time. 
he's flipping yeah. a coin and it's always landing on what well, he wants. Like it's it's incredible. He's got the double sided head coin. Yeah. But as I said before, I, I saw Bambino after UFA, he mm. said that you know what, I'm not happy with the way I performed. I am mm. going to get ready. He said this, I am getting myself ready for this event, the E Cup final. Yep. It's come prepared and it looks like he definitely is ready because he's looking like he's gonna take it. Three wins in this pool. Yep. But not if Tibetano has anything to say about it. Nice block on the down 4 3. Down 4 3 is, is not heavily punishable. It's such a good low from Ganryu, but the range is a bit deceptive. Like, it, it doesn't have good range, so Bambino can backdash out of it. Mm. So, Tibetano playing a lot slower here. Again, just trying to find the right opportunity to get in. I mean, Lane did come up on the stage and, and probably gave him something, but maybe he said, you know, just slow the game a bit too, you know, down a little bit. You know, you're rushing in just a little bit too much. We'll see, he just finishes the whole 2-2-2 two, two, two string. Very, very pesky to deal with. It's an annoying string. Really good decision there. I could feel that Bambino wanted to, like, you know, find a way in there in that situation. It's going to be huge damage. Down 4-3. I love it now. Oh, no, no. I was about to say, don't give him space. You played really well before. That's been big trouble. Goes for the rage drive. Do you know what? Before I could even say it. One tick before I could even say it, I was like, his back is against the wall. Put pressure. Do not let him set into mix-up. I think it was a miss input because he got like a jump back kick or something. Oh, man. It's crazy. Oh, and that, that, that was one of those rounds where it's a heartbreaker where it's, it's all in your hands. But it's all, all on Tibetan and I think mentally compose himself. But he's back against the wall again. He's in the same kind of position. Full wall combo here from Bambino. And it's really not looking good for Tibetano. Yeah, I've seen many people in these situations and they find a way back. And, you know, Tibetano, we can't write him off. You know, he's been playing so, so well recently. You know, we said qualified for the Tekken World Tour Finals. No, and drops the combo. Oh, no, is that going to be dead? It's so unlucky. I Nothing is going his way. Dead. What, yes. what kind of combo was that? It was a combo to make sure that he got the rage dead? part at the end. And I yeah. believe, I don't know. Yes. I can't, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it was, <laughs> that is the round there. <laughs> Ban. Nice. No. Bambino one round away from moving on to top eight winner side, side tomorrow. Yes. I wonder who had that on their lottery cards, but as you see, Tipitano there, great block on the sweep. Going to be shy of the wall, though. Man, even, look, I'm not even playing, and I'm scared of Bambino's 50-50s, man. It's like he's threatening with it all the time, but at the same time can put the brakes on. Okay, down for three, and I like it there. Just putting the pressure on your head, the crowd waking up there. Oh my god, it's not over till it's over. There's been many people that have come back from these situations. Yes, we've seen reverse sweeps happen so many times. But it's Tibetano needs one right now. He needs to pull one out the bag. Oh my god, it's so close. Goes for the 2-2 two -two there. Going to confirm that. Going to get the guarantee. Oh, didn't get it. Unlucky. But Tibetano waking up, gets a counter hit combo. There he goes. The oh goal. my god. Oh, and he gets the launcher there. Bambino, if he gets this combo correctly, he, he's going to take it here. Oh, he I'm takes it. Bambino takes out Tibetano. Gets three wins on the board. Moves on to top eight winner side. I am like very unfortunate. You said Bambino. It before that you was very impressed.